Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to Holland's Drag. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she does sound like a robot when she when she does it, but I really do like Rue's new music, though. Just on a side note, I really do like her but music. Does that theme song not sound a little bit different to you? Like there's something more pitchy or more autotune about it. I can't quite put my finger. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that. I didn't really necessarily notice it, but now that you mentioned, I'm like maybe, kind of. Yeah, so. but um. So we're but back yeah, with our backgrounds. We decided the backgrounds are working. <laughs> we like our backgrounds because it's just like, I'm on the main stage, honey. <laughs> oh, her dream, her dream come true, being on that main stage. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into it right away. So it's a pretty good episode. I'm liking this whole um, part of the franchise. Um, so they get right into a clog at the uh, competition. Challenge. And so um, here they are with like the they have to make their own clog in the glitter. But it's so kind of funny. It's like you could almost see these on like a Gucci runway. <laughs> um, let's not get crazy. They're silly. Do you know how fast I would have gotten my clogs together? I instantly would have grabbed some white and black paint and I would have turned a chic ass cut black, uh, black and white clog. So oh. I'm just like, why is everyone throwing glitter on it and calling it a day? Sticking flowers in it. It's, 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 it's gay. Well, we can start fashion and gay. I would have done, I would have painted it white first and then did like some type of like black design and then put glitter on it. Yeah. But it still would have been monochrome and it still would have been like black and white sheet. But everyone's doing like pink. And yes, it is drag, you're right. But where is the fashion? Right. You know, and that's an interesting point because, you know, Holland is so close to Amsterdam and the world, the fashion world has been so influenced by the Amsterdam Six. And, you know, it's, you know, those countries are very adjacent. They're only about two hours away. So there's not a lot of high fashion on this show at all. Yeah, like, I'm just like, all of these brothers are very campy or very, you know, big main stage glitter drag. You know, there's but no- But even going back to, go back to that picture. Mm -hmm. Even on her boy illusion, mm -hmm. this goes back to what we were saying about gay is gay everywhere. Because you know you would see all the little queens in Castro wearing that exact same ensemble. Those shorts <laughs> are so tight. <laughs> I'm just in pain looking at those shorts. But you <laughs> know the muscle queens wear that, though. Oh, yeah. No, without a doubt. Now, this one's name is Sitter Jean. Is that the correct yeah. way to pronounce it? So we had a big... Um, back and forth uh, last week about Sitter Jean's age because I was in shock he was 26 and then Ronald actually forwarded me his Instagram which scales a lot younger than when he first appeared on the first episode so I wouldn't necessarily say I'm eating my words because he is definitely no twink but um, <laughs> I, I see the 26 more now still reading about 40 <laughs> but <laughs> well he's reading about 40 in drag yeah, he's reading at least 35 out of drag. So he, he's if you not catch him in the right picture, though, he looks 26. Yeah, and if no, you catch him no in the doubt. right picture, yeah, because I got he's... really into the feed, and so now I see it, but um, it, it's not obvious, it is not, obvious. but he serves just he serves like daddy. Yeah, and it's Youngish. interesting, you know, because like he went daddy. into the weight journeys this week saying, you know, he was a yeah. lot heavier, yeah, that makes and sense. now, you know, he's a lot musclier, and it's interesting because usually a lot of that doesn't happen to your older post-30, all those weight up and downs. But, no, um, all those queens used to be big. Didn't um, Cameron also used to be big, too? When he was a child, but then I think after puberty, he got thin. Oh. Um, and then um, Rita Baga, there's another example oh, yeah. of, you know, somebody who was, you know, not so thin in her 20s or first started now in drag and got skinny. So I just always think it's um, an interesting trajectory, you know, when you get known as big queen and then you're like the skinny queen. It's like, you don't see like Delta Work or Stacey Lane Matthews slimming down anytime. They're like, this is my brand. <laughs> so... Well, it's also, they, I don't know if they want to. They're just like, right. that's too much work. No shade, bitch. <laughs> True. And by the way, if and not to get too off topic, but if anybody knows Here we go. Stacey Lane Matthews' housing troubles, please leave a message <laughs> in the comments. Because both of us are like very lost. About I'm not bothered about it because she got a place now, but it's just like, girl, it's none of my concern. Right. It's unfortunate, but it, it, uh, as long as she has a place now. Right. Oh, you none still of her concern. I've been why. everybody's business all week long, sending me everything that happens on the internet all week, but none of her concern. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not inspired by her. I'm just kidding. I'm but I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she mean to the big girls. No, I'm just kidding. She's sweet. But um, let me not sound like a 
size this bitch. Because uh, no, that's not the reason I'm not interested in her. It's just right. that, um, yeah, no, I just, I like, that's not the queen that I really live for like that, like that. Like, I, but I can tell you everything about like Bob and Monet because they gag me, but I, I'm not really gagged by, I'm not gagged by um, Homegirl. You know, uh, Stacey's a performer. And you know, <laughs> but, I, like performer. I like Stacey, but I'm not gagged by her performance. And she can turn a lip sync, don't get me wrong, but I'm not gagged by her. Like, I don't need to see her perform, nor do I need to see one of her YouTube shows. But I do like her, and she is sweet. Mm -hmm. But about caring about her housing situation, that's not on my top priority. For some reason, it's you. Maybe it's an older thing you relate that way, and you guys care about each well, other. Well, she but, just seemed to be having so much trouble, and I don't understand where all the trouble stemmed from. Oh, I, I just don't understand point A to point B. And the only reason I really was invested in it because she was posting about it nonstop. It was like <laughs> every single thing on the Yeah, but then like, one day you sent me a link of her like finding a place. So at that point, I was just like, okay, well, okay. we're good now. Well, I'm glad you moved on quickly because you usually don't. This one loved to take it to the grave about some sort of situation. <laughs> well, I, that's what I'm saying. I think if it was like, if it was like Bob or someone, I would want to know. I would be like, why did she? What, what ha What's happening? But for some reason, I'm just like, it's just like, she's not my, like, I like her, but that's not the queen. That's like at the, <laughs> the my main priority to know their tea. All right. Well, that's, let's that's what I said. Back. You probably have. Let's connection. go back to Holland. Let's go back to Holland. <laughs> you're the one who I'll see. You can't get mad when we go off topic because you're always the Girl, one. Girl, like, you want to no talk about it for 20 minutes when I want a little uh, 30, 30 second, a uh, <laughs> little bloop there. <laughs> All right, so here they are going crazy with the glitter and the flowers again. And even this one, the flowers fell out because they were so This awesome. was yes. just a hot mess. Like, these girls... <sighs> it's the type of shit that makes me want to be like, can we start, like, I need them to, like, create a TV show or something where, like, they another idea so RuPaul listen again I already told you the one about the lip syncing now here's another one where we bring regular people into a workroom and it's just for one day and you get a small cash prize and you replicate the past challenges from Drag Race uh, but they don't have to be in drag they don't have to be in drag like it could be the mini challenge uh -huh. and then it, it's more so it'll be it would I guess it would more so be the challenges where they have to like produce something or, because I don't want it to be where it's where the makeup is judged. Okay. It's just, I, I want it to be judged on like what you produce. So like if it's a commercial, I want you to be judged on the commercial that you made. So you get like, you know how they've done commercials in the past? So it would be like that. So in this case, it would be judged on your shoe solely. And then, and then, and I guess you would do the same exact challenges from that episode. So then you would then do the runway. So, you know, but then you'd have to just source so the garment. You were basically offended by this challenge because they only did glitter and flowers. Yeah, I was offended. Yeah, that's a long story short. I was offended by But did they the have any other of... materials? Like, did they have paint even to... Yeah, I was... Oh, okay. just, yeah, like, well, I mean, the one girl, you'll see it later, when she was walking on her heels, hers is, like, red, and she painted it red. And I think that's, like, the lesser of evils. But um, I, was, I was offended by the lack of... I don't necessarily... I don't necessarily want to say creativity because they were creative as much as they could be with glitter, I guess. And yeah. for them being drag queens. But don't queens, they only have like 20 minutes? You can do a line in 20 minutes, sweetie. Like, no shade. I always think it's so easy. She always... Because she... it's... Well, because this... Like, it is easy because it's just like... I don't... Like, you, 20 minutes is longer than you think. And if you're just painting it, like and making it look presentable and chic. But the problem is I felt like everything looked rushed and it was just like, stick it on. It, it was, because like it was 20 minutes. It takes us 20 minutes to get, get this uh, Zoom together. We'll be like, <laughs> I'm ready. And then it'll be like, I got to change. I got to go to the bathroom. I got to put some powder on my face. Well, I know, but, but I know, but my, the way, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just, the, again, it's the girls, how they are. And the, the maybe the chicness isn't at their main priority because they're drag queens, and you know, and I get that too. Glitter is like a very much drag queen thing, but can there not be a mix of like a chic girl? Like I feel like like a Raja would have turned her shoe. Oh yeah, chic. no, without question. But I think that's also I think it's just the cast more than anything. Yeah, else. so maybe I'm just I don't, gagged. At the I don't fact think maybe I'm just yeah, you're right. Maybe I'm just gagged by the lack of. 
fashion girls on the cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that being said, I still think I would turn. I like when I think I know I would turn a chic shoe in twenty minutes. It's easier than yeah. Than, than and the think. one we just showed is the one who has that couture line or that demi couture line who makes things. And her, you know, this shoe is, you know. Yeah, and she's the designer, and that's that's could, trash. No shame. I, a third grader could make this. You it's know? literal. That's what I'm saying. They all just attacked it by glitter. Just throw glitter on it and throw fur. Mm -hmm. But we'll, I'll tell you which one I think is the lesser of evils when we get to it. And then, is this one with the imaginary heels? Heel? No, this isn't her. Oh, okay. She just looked like she was in it. She has the imaginary heels. Oh, uh, Envy Peru, who you kept calling yeah. Coco Peru last night. <laughs> those almost look like, those almost look like um, Canada shoes. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt. So, But um, I would say that's like my second place for lesser of evils. Mm -hmm. Because I don't hate that. This, this, it was, a, I know the picture is blurry. It's the best I could do to yeah. screenshot it, but this is just atrocious. This is the kitchen sink. She just threw yeah, everything on I guess it's like, I, I just kind of was half assly watching this and I didn't realize there were the, all the flowers, like so much was falling off of these shoes. Mm -hmm. So. This looks like an arts and craft project. Yeah. They were all just very big bird. You know, yeah, this all... this is just so it's just like it's so kiddish. I think I'm just like gagged by the like level of like mm -hmm. how that that's like at least I like the color blocking of that. <laughs> I love Abby's face here. <laughs> okay. So then, so um, then the lost corset that was heard <laughs> around the world. Corset gate. So, so corset gate. So what do you think really happened? I think she just misplaced it. No shade. I don't know if anyone I did think, because she seems messy like that. She just seems like she's just like, she seems very Valentina in the uh, the workroom. Like, it's all about me. I take four hours ready, get ready. Everybody needs to wait for me. I'm tossing my stuff everywhere and expecting people to, like, pick up after me. And she seems very bratty like that. Like, I don't dislike her because, you know, normally I just like bratty people. But she definitely seems like a diva you know, backstage, yeah. so, and she got all heated, and had to do the cigarette, and then um, the bearded queen found the corset just there in the corner. Well, she went looking for it, too, but... Oh, she did. Oh, I didn't realize. Because she said, yeah, I found it for you, and she went, like, it seemed like she went looking for it, but I'm it's almost just like, how come you found it? Did you kind of see it earlier? And no, I'm just kidding. Right, because I'm but, like, <laughs> oh, was there foul play? Did, like, somebody like, I kind hide of, like, it? it it was interesting because she didn't find it for like a, it wasn't like it was just like in everyone's plain sight apparently mm -hmm. she had to kind of look for it but it, i guess she was still able to find it but i i kind of was just like i mean there's like i feel like there's a slight chance that there could have been foul right. play but i still don't necessarily believe that yeah it definitely was a mystery for sure so but it was a gag but she was giving brat realness and the girls reading her in the confessional was a gag Okay, so here's Fred. In this okay, now here's the thing about Miss Fred. She is comparable to Rue in the sense that she is the sole judge, just like Rue. She even uses her real name for drag, just her real boy name, just like Rue uses her real boy name for drag. But Rue, she is not. That is a brick in a dress and a wig. Because <laughs> you had texted me when you were watching this and you said Fred is a brick and I didn't quite like understand. And then How do you not understand? That is a old well, gay word. Now I do. <laughs> Cause oh. you know, last week she I just love that little dress she wore with Sophie Vuitton influence and the shoulders and you know, everything was just perfect. I think she has a very old approach to drag. I feel like hear me out. I feel like that approach to drag has become, it's so played out, and not even just played out, times have changed so much that doing that form of drag not only makes you look older, it actually, it actually, like it, all the things that you're trying to hide by doing that sort of drag, I think it actually en makes it, embellishes it even more. For example, doing those sleeves that's a very 90s approach to tackling a man body. You know what I mean? But doing that dress and with that big sleeve and that cut of dress now, I think it actually makes you look bigger. There was a time where your mind, it tricked our minds because we didn't know enough about drag. 
and we just like, oh, she's hiding her shoulders. She looks snatched and whatever. But I feel like today with the, I think maybe just subconsciously with us knowing our options for the kind of what you can do, even having a big shoulder, even having broad shoulders, I think now, I think it actually draws our attention to the big shoulders and makes it stand out even more. Tell me if I'm crazy. Oh, no. I mean, first rule of thumb in styling, if a client has big shoulders, and I'm talking about like a female cisgender client, you do not put a puff shoulder. Like, you well, the, but no, but that's them. the thing, though. It, but there was a time we did do that, though. When, when, what is this time you're talking about? Because I... We would just do that everywhere, like, because like, you have a sleet, like, the girl has broad shoulders. Oh, we're going to disguise it by this whatever detail. And then the it waist was always... super cinched? Yeah, or just in general. Either way, like, it, yeah. was, it was always a matter of if whatever is the problem area, add fabric to hide it. That was yeah. always a thing. And I think that was a thing both within drag and within just fashion in general, yeah. to be honest with you. Even at my thinnest, you know, when at the height of my, you know, drag era, when I was doing drag, you know, even when I was 130 pounds, I still had massively broad shoulders. And I, I know you put that. some type of uh, whatever big embellished. Oh, no, 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 never. And that was the trend du jour back then. So was I that don't know, but I just know, I just know that never. like growing up, because you don't I, accent. You don't accent what you don't want to see. And that, they that, always do that, though. Drag queens always do that. Just like, I got to hide my shoulders, so I'm going to do this yeah. big sleeve. I guess there is that Nina West way of thinking, where if you are that big, you know. Then it's the older way to do it, and I'm just hat. like, no. And I think she's still kind of stuck in that. And I don't know if that's just kind of like how they do drag in Holland, but this is the second time she's worn, worn a garment where the shoulders are broad or like very just embellished or but just exaggerated. For some reason, it did not work this week. So I, mean, I didn't I even like it last week. I feel like she has no business doing anything exaggerated. She needs to give give us a garment with a cinched waist mm -hmm. and just just ignore the fact that like just like like embrace your arms and quite frankly like I'm not stop trying so hard to hide it because I'm actually you're drawing more attention to it and you're looking dated because don't she look like a golden girl? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I, last week I thought, you know, she was such an attractive man. And then the reveal happened, you know, when she was lady and she just looked so chic and feminine. And I, I don't know. Let's not it. get crazy. I wouldn't even use the word chic. And then she was and feminine. This, yeah, but this week in this um, sad um, uh, pile left over from the Dolce samples and that wig. <laughs> oh, my God. That wig is like matted. It's so sprayed. No movement. And that is that is. That's giving you that show here, we are here on HBO when they make over the cisgender people. That's what this eye makeup is giving you. And it's just like, I just don't know what the what the makeup team is doing because I think she's, she's younger than Ruth, first of all. She's way she younger than Ruth. Up. Huh? I think she did her own makeup. That's the shade. Yeah. Well, that's the problem. She's way younger than Rue. And we can make Ruth, we turn Rue into a 30-year-old by the time we're done. Mm -hmm. So why can't we turn her into at least a 20-something-year-old? Yeah, because she's probably in her late 30s in real life. Yeah. And she looks 50, you know. Yeah, she literally looks 50s. With hair and makeup. None of this, no, not from the wig to the makeup to the outfit to even the jewelry, did her any favors whatsoever. So... Mm. No. And then, of course, we have, you called it, I, I kind of oh. was just like, I don't, I was kind of skeptical. I was just like, are they going to bring Nikki? But no, they actually brought her in the second episode. Yeah, so, so right. I was, um, what's her following? Do you know? Because I don't really know a lot about her. Nikki Tutorials? Yeah. Millions I know it's of followers. Big. I know it's big. So like millions, like multiple millions. Yeah, and then, he, and then she got even more when she came out as trans, so. Uh-huh. So yeah, I didn't really, really know a lot about her. It's always interesting when they have um, people who are deeper in their transition on these drag shows um, because it's what just it's almost coming from like a cisgender point of view, you know? So because it's not very, they never have great tips on being a drag queen. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. No, because, well, hold on, let me get you together before someone in the comments gets you together because I know someone will <laughs> because... First of all, women, cisgender women can do drag too. And yes, also, I saw that awful show that the VH1 produced, <laughs> the Celebrity Drag Race. Yes, I had a well, no. that. No, we, I don't feel like we're necessarily as exposed to it because I don't think there's that, well, at least we haven't necessarily, I've yet to see as much of it in, um, in San Francisco where we live. 
of cisgender drag, but it is a thing. And, and I think there's like, I, well, I'm pretty sure there's more of it in like New York and stuff, but it, it, there is a thing. <laughs> the places you were going to, bitch, probably didn't have it. <laughs> Because I know they're always, they, I just haven't, I haven't been, haven't got a chance to see it um, in person in a show. But I know like the girls from the ballroom scene and other, and other scenes in general have been saying that, they've been saying that um, cisgender women have been around mm-hmm. just as long doing drag. I mean, like I said, we haven't seen it, but I don't doubt it. But I can't necessarily speak to the cisgender because I haven't seen it. But the trans, I can speak to because I've always had, like, I've always been around, like, trans people. And I've always seen it. And they can turn a, they turn a number just like a drag oh, queen. Oh, yeah. No, no doubt. I mean, in fact, trans performers Asian SF are... is built off of that very same premise of doing yeah. drag shows. And they're trans, they're, they're trans, but they're doing drag shows, basically. So... Yeah, trans performers are some of the best performers. So, so my no point question. with that is, um, I, I, yes, yeah, my point with that was saying, like, I don't know if we can equate her to being, not understanding from being a, tra- a trans woman, simply because we don't know what her journey is. She may have started in drag. I don't know. Well, actually, well, just don't know overall actually, with her, the well, actually, she's, she's like, only 24 and she started her transition pretty early. But, I mean, still, like, ultimately kind of like you kind of start doing drag like a trans person like their journey kind of is like you could if you want you can kind of classify it as doing drag when you're first starting so I still think that within that realm they definitely understand and again like I said a a trans person can do drag too so I think she knows very well and quite frankly goodness gracious the makeup she's doing is damn near drag makeup Right. Well, I guess I'm just not really buying what she's selling. Like, I've watched a few of the videos. I watched her on the Ellen Show. I watched her on this, and I'm just like, okay, like she will whip your mug. She will whip your mug. She'll have you looking twenty. Well, yeah, no, I'm I'm glad she does the good makeup, but in terms of talking, like, not that charismatic. So she's actually a gag. You need to get into her show. She's actually a gag. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll give it a chance, but I'm skeptical. And she's the one, and she's also the one too. Who she was kind of the first person to um. Remember, we did an episode on Ellen. She was the first yeah. person to kind of crack that case. Right. Mm-hmm. And she was the first person to speak on it. Mm-hmm. All right. So here's Patty Pam Pam. Um, they did a art challenge where they basically had to take a famous piece of art and then put it on a dress. And then, um, yeah. The, well, no, I, it wasn't. Well, it, no, it's not famous piece of art. It's just serve um, art in general. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I guess some of the, some of the, pieces that they use were more recognizable than others it's just more i think it's 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 not i don't even think it necessarily has to relate to art in general i think it's just like beat your face the challenge is kind of just like beach it just needs like what you're it's about makeup and then it just needs to match your garment okay it needs to tell a story with your garment but it's not a painting challenge or an art challenge so um here uh she is doing the famous star starry night painting and i agree with the judges just it was just a mess overall Do, i was I, I funny enough i thought they were a little bit harder on harder on her than she deserved um i just didn't respond to it so i, I there was just something like about but it. i like the idea and granted if we've seen that before i think manila's done manila has done something mm-hmm. like that before and she did it better but a lot better <laughs> a lot <laughs> but i don't think it was necessarily the weakest weakest link like i i don't actually think it was that bad i thought i would have let it i would have i might have just let it go past i would have let her go through i think okay. i'm not offended by it and then here's Chelsea Boy, the spray of life. So, um, I, you know, she gives you that real, like, London-type drag, that real, yeah. like, Klaus Naomi, you know, elevated, elevated drag. So I really respond to this. Even though it doesn't reference a very famous painting, I, I still was really gagged by this. Yeah, the, I really like it. It's really chic too, though. It's like mm-hmm. rocker chic. I'm really into it. It's a cute story. She even has her, the, as you can see, her name on the back. I, I'm, I almost wanted that to win, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like definitely that should have been the top because it's really then, chic too. Here is Mama McQueen in her spiritual vision. You could see on the various religious signs on her breastplate, for lack of better. She's words. giving me Halloween stores um, skeleton costume. Yeah, she's so beautiful. 
And, you know, she just has such a beautiful face that lends to drag. You know, that bone structure is just incredible. But it's just been really disappointing what she's kind of given you on the runway. It's just, there's... Yeah, it's like you said, it's Halloween store. I don't really quite understand because this could have been executed. Well, I wouldn't have minded if she at least, I would have, or I would have still mind, but she didn't even have the decency to wear pads. Why does she keep doing that? Okay, I think because she's so thin. I think she's like Aquaria or like Violet Chachi. Aquaria gives herself hips. Yeah, a little hip, but yeah, she definitely needs the waist cinched here and a pad. If you're going to do that real naked look, you need an hourglass you know, or some type of shape, feminine shape, and then this, and then what What was going on down here with these rock formations near her ankles? <laughs> Gemstones. I know. I don't know. I can tell you either. Because the makeup, I, I think this is really, really beautiful, but everything around it doesn't doesn't work. Yeah, the makeup's pretty, and she, she can turn a mug. Her mug is pretty. Oh, yeah. It's just a body... Question. And I'm all for androgyny, but, like, she can't do it every week. Yeah. You need all to wear right. pads and boobs, bitch. Yeah, here's Sitter Jean. How did you feel about this? And then I'll give you my thoughts. I actually like it. It's Club Kid. But, um, and this, I know, I know earlier I was saying kind of embrace your body type. But she kind of embraced it a little too much because she's giving you bench press realness, like, bodybuilder uh -huh. but the thing is there was real there's no real way to cover that up with that illusion yeah it I, needed to be like so she had no choice but to serve that you know this is very exactly like, like acid betty for me and that's like another person i've never really responded to that strongly but uh, I, but if you look at it on its own i would say it's a piece of art it is brilliant yeah. I just, I'm just talking know, more so about her body type. But you, you know, know what? I can't even really speak too much about, like, body types and muscular or anything like that because Cameron Michaels manages to hide hers, so it is doable. Cameron is very small at the end of the day. He is not... Um, That's like, true, actually. He's not a um, Hulk. You know, he's got That's a true. slim, long muscles. He's got a very ballet dancer shape. And That's that true, reads very differently on camera than this. That's and true. so... Um, you know, he does not, Synergy does not have a face that lends to drag, you know, <laughs> at all. That's and, another thing too, honey. You don't have the luxury of doing a ball head moment. Yeah, exactly. And there was just nothing that read very feminine about this to me. And I just always think about Gia Gunn, you know, when she's like, drag is impersonating a woman, you know, when her and Milk were getting into it like that. And I but I'm surprised that, she didn't get dragged for that too, because that's still, even just saying that's kind of like an old way of thinking, like right. the new way it would be. Drag can be interpreted in many different ways. The PC right. way would be to say exactly. that. Exactly. And so that's what I'm saying. I get the Club Kid reference, you know. Because Club, Kids, again, yeah, because Club Kids wasn't about serving femininity mm -hmm. only. It was just about serving a moment. Yeah. I definitely can see this walking around the club and being gagged by it. But was I, I personally getting a very drag vibe from it? Not at all. I, I did not think this really read drag to me. I thought this read club kid to me. I get what like you I said that. before the internet mob comes for me, that's a personal taste thing <laughs> because I really want a showgirl. You know that. No, I get what you mean. I know I get what you mean though. It, you're right because it, it's something that you would give if the category is club kid. But like mm -hmm. on one hand, I get what you mean. But then on the other hand, it's just like one could say that the two are interchangeable, drag and club kid. If you, you or at least you can make it, but. It just, Depends what Coast School is. But I will say, I will not take away from Sitter Jean's craftsmanship. This is incredible. And, you know, there was a like lot the, of Honestly, I think, I think it's more a problem of the body type. If it was on, um, like, Peru, mm -hmm. I think you would be giving it 10 because it's just, like, a little cute figure and it's serving, like, you know, I think it's just more so because she's essentially just reading as a queen from who's going to Folsom <laughs> oh. because of her body type. Folsom was supposed to be this weekend. Rest in peace. I know, right? All right. So here is Megan. I can never get that. So, um, I thought they were too I, hard on her for this. Oh, you did? I think it's brilliant. I, there just wasn't something not working for me. I, you know, like they said, those pads and that meaty tuck, I definitely did not respond to that. I mean, but that's so minor. Like, I really, the makeup job is really pretty. I know Nikki read her for the blue being interjected in it but i don't even mind that and then as far they wanted a, a more high cut 
like panty line. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't mind it that much. I really don't. I think I didn't much- hate it. I didn't think it was the worst, but I definitely didn't think it was the best. Yeah, like I think she should have been safe. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. And and I mean, she was, them. but she shouldn't. I don't think she even deserved to be in like the top three of almost going home. Yeah. So here's Madame Madness and Madame oh, three, Gold giving a nod to the famous Klimt painting. This was the mo- this was the most offensive. Yeah, this was extremely offensive. Extremely. No pads. No body shape. No embellishment. No, um, and then to hear her story of it supposed to be gold, I'm just like, sweetie, that is a mustard yellow dress mm-hmm. in a jersey knit. That dare read you. to me more Prada ugly chic than it read gold goddess to me. Yes. So the I. The fabric's so unforgivable. You could literally get that in bulk yeah. from a Joann's or something even. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, is that, an offensive fabric fabric. Was, that fabric was one ninety nine a yard, you know, without question. <laughs> So <laughs> then she had the nerve to add a sad train to it. Uh, try to, uh. Yeah, it it was just really bad all the way around. She was in the bottom, but she deserved to be. Yeah, deserved to be in the bottom. We're gonna get into that a little bit later, but definitely deserved to be in the bottom. And then Miss Abby, oh my God, how did you feel about this? I thought they were hard on her for this too. I like it, but I do agree with them saying it's basic because. I mean, no shade. Mir, you could do that with make Like, it, it's nothing but finger painting, basically, on your body. It's no tea. Yeah, but I, she, I don't like this disconnect, how the body paint doesn't really go into, like, this This painting on it the It does go with it. It matches strong. it exactly. But someone made a good point in the, in the, uh, when they went backstage. And they were just like, you needed to put white first. And when they said that, I was just like, ah, that probably would have been better because then it would have been more vibrant. Right now, it just kind of looks like someone you were finger painting yourself. Mm-hmm. But if she put white down first, it probably would have been more vibrant. It would have been more snatched. And then this dress is very off the rack, you know, so I don't... Really, think- I don't mind the dress because it's just like, it's cute and pride. It was okay. Once again, it was okay. You know, and you know what? And, and then it could have also been an homage to... Um, to not having pride this year because you know what they said something did you clock it they said they mentioned corona i could have swore i heard them say something about corona i can't remember oh, how they they? Used exactly. i didn't realize this was I, 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 yeah i remember time. them saying something about corona i don't know if i made it up if i like got pulled that out of my ass but for some reason i remember i thought i remember seeing something about them saying corona so i'm just like I'll, when did they i'll talk? say this to, for my final thoughts on abby that I liked the concept i was really in love with the concept but the execution was kind of like a c for me so that was the problem with it. Yeah, like the, exec- the, yes, the execution is not the strongest, but I, I like the idea. I do yeah, like I the love idea of the matching idea. up because she did try her best to match it up to the dress. It's just that it looks, the way she did it just looks kind of cheap. If it was more vibrant, like they said, I think I would have liked it more. And then I think that's really just it. And I almost don't need the hair to, the hair almost needs to be more vibrant. Because the hair looks too faded. Yeah, I think, yeah, that would have helped as well. So she would have taken the rainbow up into the hair more and more bouffant style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And more vibrant, though, because it looks faint. But yeah. And then here's Janie Jacquet, who, to be honest, is barely even registering with me with this alien... I don't even know what alien look. I don't... I just don't really, like, respond Amazing. to, like... I, Avatar? I, yeah, I mean, I can appreciate the makeup and that it was really good, but this just wasn't doing it for me personally. Um, yeah, she was channeling, she was trying to channel Game of Thrones, and I see that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, I'm not mad at it because, like I said, there's it's good to show versatility too. It was all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, did, I, I like that better more than the other ones. As you can tell, this wasn't my favorite challenge. <laughs> yeah, this was, I mean, yeah. Okay, so Patty Bam Pam had a lip sync for her life. Doesn't Patty look like, um, what's that other comedy queen? And she was weird, and she would always have hair like that too. Ooh, you know who I'm talking about. Thorgy? No. She was like, oh my God, you know who I'm talking about. She's like, I forget what, se- I forget what, what season. season but- give, me, give, me a little more, give me a little more to work with. She had that. She normally would do that too, and she was just like, "Oh, she, she, kind of, she, her personality is almost like, um, it's almost like, um, what's the big queen's name? The um, 
Rue's friend. I went blank on her name for some reason. Oh, honey, you are, like, this is like scrap. Rue's only drag friend. <laughs> oh, Lady Bunny. Yeah, her personality is almost like that, mixed okay. with like, um, like, um, maybe like, who else? I don't know, like, she's, she's, she was one of the first comedy queens. Um, you know, it's on the tip of my tongue, too, and I can't yes. think of it. She was the really odd queen, the oddball queen. Yes, she season. was the, one of the first odd queens. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what's her name? Damn it. But yeah, it remi- she reminds me of her, though. Doesn't she look like her? Like, even the face structure. Yeah, now that you said it, I, I see that. So, um, yeah, I I always find it odd when, like, an experienced queen, like, Pat, like uh, Patty Bam Bam, loses to a newer queen like the Dom Madness. Wait, why would you be surprised by that? They understand what the music is now and they can turn a look and they can perform and dance. I didn't think and they kept up with the times. Why is that that surprising? I don't think she's that great of a performer. Wait, who? You need to give more to the older generation. There is something um, about an experienced stage performer that a newcomer... No, 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 no. I, I I give tens to... I give tens to older performers all the time. But my whole thing is, if you at some point decided that you were going to give up and not keep up, if you don't know the, all the lyrics to WAP and you, can't, and you can't exude the emotion to WAP too, then you're doing something wrong. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to blame someone's age for a reason why they can't turn something. That has nothing to do with it. I'm not, no, I'm not necessarily a spring chicken myself either. I'm about to be 30. But what I do do is I keep up with the new, I know all the latest songs. So if you, I were to go on Drag Race, and not to say that, like, that's what I would say, but I'm just saying, like, if I were, or not even just for Drag Race purposes, if you tell me to, bitch, get up on stage and turn the look or um, turn a performance and I'll give you $100, you better believe I'm going to win that $100 simply because I, I've never, I've never kind of, like, gotten stuck with my era I move with each era simply because I want to stay a part of the zeitgeist, but I also be- it's also just because I want to just stay current. Like, I don't ever want to be that queen that's just like, oh, I don't know what the young kids are doing, but back in my day, we used to do the Charleston. Like, no, I don't like, that's never, I never, I would never like that to be me. I would like to be the 50-year-old. I would like to be the 50-year-old that knows what the 20-year-olds and the teens are listening to because I don't want to get lost. Like, I don't want to ever be lost in the time that my, my generation, if you will. I want to keep going with it. So that's more of my problem. And when I say, and I think that's probably why I get, like, where I read the older queens is because I can tell they're not keeping up. And if you're still not going to keep up, at least keep up enough to be able to turn a performance enough in in the sense of like movement then if you're not going to keep up on the songs at least kind of know like movements Mm -hmm. and just kind of be able to exude because what happens is i feel like that these queens these older queens if you will like if you your words not mine are um are they're they're getting they'll 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 perform and then they're just like and they rely so much on like a gimmick or something and it's just like Mm -hmm. okay why can't you give us what this 20 year old is doing what was your criticism specifically for patty patty bam bam oh no i didn't think they were that bad i'm just saying you were the one who brought up the age Uh, thing i didn't think that was that bad but i'm just saying like in general though in general though like an older queen that's probably like i'm not i just want to like debunk that statement of you saying i'm hard on the older queens it's not that i'm hard on them it's just i expect them to keep up there's no reason why you can't turn the same song as the younger person and then you want to turn around and blame well that's because she's young and she can understand that song now what i will say is there are certain songs that an older person is going to understand the emotion more to and be able to exude through it better than someone younger Sure. but that's not to say that the younger person can't do it can't do just as well too but for example remember when um they gave um they gave latrice royal that like i forget the song but you know it's one of those old I, black lady songs you, you make me <laughs> fire the Aretha franklin yes and she turned it and everyone yeah and she turned it and everyone was just like well that's because she's an old queen and she understands it more because she was around that time and she gets that song more and every, that was kind of like everyone's complaint and like saying that the younger person wouldn't be able to turn it like that. And while that is true too, 
I'm just as hard on the young person too, as well. Like you should be able to still tap into it as well. Right. So it's not yeah. like, I'm not trying to make it like mm-hmm. old versus young thing. I'm just trying to make it like, be aware of like all around. Now that being said, I probably would get slayed. And like, if you made me do some type of old song, like, cause you know more of the old shit than me, but I have, I have enough of a stage presence to at least give you a show and pretend like I can make do it. So that's more of why I'm hard on them. But I feel like uh, oftentimes they'll hear a new song and they will kind of give up and not want to like turn it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you would do that too. If, if um, like if WAP came on, you'd be like, oh, you, you might do like a comedy rendition of it. How, and dare, <laughs> how dare you, I know the words to WAP. <laughs> okay, fine. If, if um, if um, tap it, tap tap in came on. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Literally, not not any. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Awareness whatsoever. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I really like a drag queen. When as you said, an older drag queen. I like an older drag queen that can keep up with the time. I mean, how old is Latrice? Forties. Forty-five. 45? Yeah, she can do any song. She can do any of the new songs. Oh, yeah. I bet you she can turn a new song just as well. Mm-hmm. so she doesn't rely on age so that's my thing too I just don't like it with if I feel like a queen is relying on age yeah I'm gonna read them <laughs> well or using age as an excuse know. rather there but no in this particular case um uh they both turned I don't I, it was just different they were both serving something different yeah it was it was kind of even you know so I was just surprised because not a, I don't I don't see Madame Madness really going that far in this competition. So I just felt like they would be like, eh, she's out, you know, whereas Patty Pam Bam has, you know, done more of the work. In well, the no, community. that's not, that's not how, we, I feel like that's, I feel like that's often like how people will like, or kind of are tackling or like the judges in the past. I feel like they kind of sometimes will take that into, into consideration. I really feel like you should judge it solely on the lip sync. Mm-hmm. No. I don't feel like you should do past or what you did on the challenge. I feel like if you didn't turn the lip sync and you did re- well in the challenge or better than the other one, but you didn't turn the lip sync, I still think you should get chopped. I guess that's, that's true. And like, you know, a lot of time. times their hands are tied and it's neck and neck. So it's like, you kind of have to go with Yeah, if it's neck and neck, then yeah. Four cards. But so. yeah, that's true. But I think but in this I, I, case, I just didn't think Madame Madness' performance was like, it just, I didn't think it slayed over Patty, Patty's at, you know. Oh yeah, I'm, no, I agree. But I mean, again, I think what it was was now what i will say though um everyone i know i said that whole spiel about like the young versus well they're the same age but i um but what i will say is someone might have an advantage whereas far and this has nothing to do with age someone might have more of an advantage with they kind of like identify with the song more and the lyrics more and i do think what's the other girl's name not patty uh madame madness Madame, I do think Madame probably kind of, uh, that, that song damn near is her theme song. It's basically about being like, you're going to hear me roar, like it's the, about the underdog. And that's probably, mm-hmm. I feel like that's kind of more of her story. And just even, just like, I think, just like, I feel like that's probably just her genre to, just in general, she probably listens to Katy Perry just more than the other one. I don't know what the other one listens to. She probably listens to Katy Perry too. Well, it always kind of well, goes but, back, like whatever, like song was popular when you were 13, like is always going to like <laughs> stick with you, you know? And yeah, but I just still your... think, yeah, but exactly. But I, I think that song really resonates with her probably a little bit more than the other one did. Mm-hmm. But not to say the other one did bad, but I think it probably resonated more with Madonna a little bit more, which is probably why. Because you could tell that she was real, she was feeling it a little bit more than the other one was really feeling. The other one was giving, but Madonna was really feeling it. She was the, yeah. But I mean, that being said, no one was, no one's going to win any rewards for that performance, but you could tell who felt it more than the other. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting. You don't really, there's no clear front runner at all in this. There's no, like, I, I really couldn't pick a top three right now at all. I could, I would pick um, the deaf one. I think she's going to make a comeback. I really do think she's gonna make a comeback. She's really don't, don't think sleep she's on that her. Strong. You don't don't strong. sleep on her. I'm telling you, don't sleep on her. Um not what's not the not the Peru, not the skinny Peru, the other one. Not Abby, the Peru, oh my like God. The Peru. Yeah, Abby, oh my God. I think yeah, she I, I will that. be in there. I can see that. Um she need to get that attitude together, but I, if she does. But she well, can no, have, no, like, no, a, no, I don't mean that one, the other one. Are they both? Wow, you need to start using some names on this episode. I cannot follow anything. <laughs> well, there's only two Perus. What's the other Perus name? They're sisters. Oh, I didn't know there were two Perus. Um, I well, no shade, no shade, bitch. The only, the only other Latin bitch. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go back. 
<laughs> I know the the one Abby. Oh my God, is the real thin one. Which one are you speaking of? Not this one, but oh. where is she? Did I not include her? I guess Did I you her? didn't. Oh shit! Did I miss her? Oh my god! I think I may have missed her. Cause where is she? Oh my god! I missed her. Mm -hmm. But go back. We'll keep going back though. You don't even have um, Envy Peru in this. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Envy Peru. Oh shit! I forgot. I missed Envy Peru. I was rushing. Oh well. But Envy Peru. I think Envy Peru will be there. Yeah, oh, Envy Peru. I, def I definitely see that. I definitely. Yeah, that's Envy Peru. Yeah, she's she's that's her sister. They're they're the same family. Oh. Well, not blood sister, but. And then who would be the third then? Oh, well, you said that. So Envy, Abby, and Megan, you think? Well, no, not, 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 I don't think Abby will. I think Abby's going to fuck up. No. no shade. But don't, I don't, I mean, I could be wrong, but I, as of right now, I don't know. She's already kind of fucking up. Um, but I, Abby, I think, is really strong and really a little bit more seasoned. And I mean, they were all gagging when she walked in there because she's like the biggest thing there. So that make, it makes sense. Right, yeah. She's, and then, she's really stunning, so... I think I don't know about Shujin, like, but don't sleep on her either. I don't want yeah, to sleep I can on see, her either. I can see her being fourth. I can see her being yeah. I could at least see there, her being fourth. but not. I don't think taking the crown. Yeah, and then who else? I'm surprised you don't. I can't believe you don't think the deaf. One, well, I, we should really use her name, but I don't remember her name. Megan. But I don't remember anyone's name. But I don't think you. I can't believe you don't think. Yes, I'm gonna have to do the chart for next week so we can follow each other. I didn't learn. I didn't learn the Canada girls' names until like damn near the sixth episode. So you're definitely not gonna expect me to learn the names when it isn't even in English. But um, <laughs> but um, I don't know. Like I think, yeah, I don't know who the third person could be. Mm. It could go be. It could be anyone. I can't really. I can't necessarily tell. But I know. For, I really. I'm strong. I do feel strongly about um, that. About the Peru girl being in it. Right. Well, but the, I don't think Abby for sure. Because I don't right. think I, I think Abby would get chopped. But, but yeah, anybody, anybody's game, you know, for for Drag Race Holland. So I'm definitely liking this um, international version of it. Did so. you? Want Oh, it didn't show us a preview for next episode, huh? Or did you watch the preview? I, I, you know, I really can't even register what happens next week, so, but... <laughs> it has the subtitles, bitch. I think I shut it off. <laughs> so, you you didn't watch it with subtitles? <laughs> no, oh, I watched it, it with subtitles, but I, once they did, like, like, the what? competition, I was, like, done, moving on to the next thing, so... <laughs> a lot going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I never watch it either. I only, I only watch it, I don't, I only don't watch it because I want to be surprised, but... I'm gagged that they, I'm gagged though that Nikki was there. I mean, I knew she was going to be there, sort of, but then at the same time, I wasn't sure. But I mean, I guess that's, that is kind of like the biggest celebrity out of there, to be honest with you. Or rather, oh, the yeah. biggest celebrity. No, like I said, I really well. would love more than like Northern European celebrities. Like, I really want like an older member of ABBA to be there. I really love Robin Kane. So, I mean, there's not too many, but um, so even um, somebody like Max Martin, who produced um, like Britney Spears and uh, Katy Perry's greatest hits, would be really, really. Really great on a show. Oh, he like produced. This. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's uh, he's Swedish as well. So uh, the Swedish are really known for that pop factory of like that sort of ABBA school of like sending those stars over there and then coming back with the hits. So true. I liked, uh, but yeah, but Rob. Yeah, I guess you said Robin. But, I mean, she's already been on the American one, but mm -hmm. yeah, Robin. Robin Robin's honest. really really great. Yeah, so for sure. But yeah, we'll see what happens for the rest of the season. But I do even, like even it's uh, only thing. yeah, even mm -hmm. um like uh, northern European adjacent countries like Iceland. Like if Bjork comes, like my head will explode. <laughs> I think she'll be like amazing. Be like, Mega, you so amazing. Well, I didn't know who the other judge was on the panel today. Oh, I, yeah, it's like Canada. I don't. I mean, these girls are like local reporters. I mean, how <laughs> how could we know who they are? Yeah, that's true. Okay, but, so we'll be doing episode three soon, no matter what the content is, and probably it's our only that. it's our only drag yeah it's our only drag right now right because now. yeah yeah I'm getting like a direction. little like <laughs> watching <laughs> all these various drag races. I was like, <laughs> I know, but I'm just like I need. I'm just like, well, are, did they start filming or do they? Yeah, I don't think they filmed any of the. Well, no, they did. They did All Stars already, actually. I think they did because okay. they were able to announce the cast. Oh, they did. Early, I, well, I mean, it's like a under. It's not the official cast, but yeah. it's for the most part. 
So I think, I don't know if that means they shot it already or they're going to sh- shoot it, but I feel like it's probably shot already. Oh, I'm lost with all that. Well, we're going to be coming back with episode three and probably some fashion. But yeah, I miss, but no shade, I'm missing my American Drag Race. I miss Rue. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, but even like true. watching this with subtitles, you really have to like pay attention. So, cause it's yeah. like not, a, you know, not in English. So it's like, if you're not watching the subtitles, you're lost, you know, yeah. in what's happening. So, but yeah, but this is still cute for now and I like it, but mm. I can't wait till the next one, but this is good. But yeah, we'll be back soon with another episode. Thrace. And in the meantime, <laughs> everyone subscribe down below. All right. Bye. We'll see ya. Bye.